Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This video shows you how to download and install the classic Windows Movie Maker from Windows 7 into Windows 11. Now Windows 11 does have its own video editor and all you do to get to it is click on the start button and just type photos in there. After a while under best match photos app will appear, click on that and then what you'll see is when the photos app loads is you'll see video editor there. If you don't see video editor there, then what you'll see is three dots, click on the three dots and there you go, click on video editor and that takes you to the new video editor. But unfortunately not a lot of people like this. A lot of people prefer the old classic video editor that came with Windows 7. So this video guide shows you how to get that one. So I'm just gonna close this down, okay? And we're gonna open up Microsoft Edge. And once Microsoft Edge is open, go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the very top. Delete out anything that's in there and then type tiny.cc forward slash wlive 2012. That's tiny full stop cc forward slash w for whiskey, l for lima, i for indigo, v for victor, e for echo 2012. All in lowercase and no spaces, just as it's shown at the top of the screen right there. Once you've done that, then press enter or return on your keyboard. Then after a few seconds, hopefully it should then start to download. So it'll take you to this page and there we go. It's now downloading. Now this bit might take a bit of time because it is quite a large file. So please be patient with it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we're gonna come back to it when it's finished downloading. Okay, so I can see it's now downloaded because it's got open file underneath WL setup minus all.exe. So I'm just gonna click on that, that's a left click. And the screen will darken and you'll get this. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Windows Live Essentials and the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, then it's okay to move your mouse over yes and left click once. Okay, so you might get this come up on your screen. It might say an app on your PC needs the following Windows feature. .NET Framework 3.5 includes .NET 2 and 3. Now, if you see this, then move your mouse over, download and install this feature and left click once. Not all computers will see this because you might already have it if another piece of software that you've installed required it. But this will take a couple of minutes to download and install. So just be patient with it. And once that green line reaches the end, hopefully that'll be installed and the installation will continue automatically. I'm just going to pause this video while this is happening and we'll come back to it shortly. Okay, so here we go. Mine has nearly finished. It's just got that last little bit to do. You know, that bit that always takes the longest part of the installation. It seems to have stopped. don't know why, but Windows has always seemed to have done this. It's sort of raced up to the end of the, uh, the installation, up to 99% and then just hangs there for a while. But uh, shouldn't be too long now. So there you go, it's downloaded and it's now installing. So it's just gonna take a few more seconds, hopefully. Okay, so it says that the following feature was successfully installed. .NET Framework 3.5 includes .NET 2 and 3. So it says you might need to restart apps that require this feature, but we should just click on close, just a left click on close in the bottom right hand corner of this box. And hopefully, I think the installation should now start automatically. Okay, so what I've noticed is this green and blue icon has appeared at the bottom of the screen here. So I'm just gonna click on that and there you go, that will bring up this, what do you want to install? Well, we need to select, choose the programs you want to install, that's this here. So move your mouse over that, left click once. Okay, and we need to untick Messenger, we need to untick Mail, and we need to untick writer and just make sure that photo gallery and movie maker are left ticked. Then move your mouse over, install in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, left click once and let it install. Now during the installation, you are likely to get an error. Now it doesn't matter. This error doesn't mean the installation has failed. Okay, 
it should still work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this running for a, a little while. And uh, like I say, we probably will get an error message come up. If you do, don't worry. It's absolutely fine. It's to be expected. Hopefully Photo Gallery and Movie Maker would have still loaded on OK on the system. It's just that this was actually designed for Windows 7. So there's a couple of things that do fail, but the, the program seems to work absolutely fine, even though it says that it's failed to install. So as you can see, the green bar is slowly making its way across to the right hand side of the screen. This bit might take a little while and the green bar may look as though it stopped from time to time, but don't panic, just leave it, just let it roll. Okay, so mine has actually said done. Windows Essentials is installed. To start using Windows Essentials, click Install. So I'm just gonna click Close on here. Like I say, on some systems, it will come up with an error saying that it's, uh, it's failed to install. So in which case, just ignore that error. And uh, let's just try opening up Microsoft Movie Maker. So what we can do first of all is before we do that, we can click on this little folder here just to the right of WL Setup All, okay? And we can delete this file because it's no longer needed on the system. So when this comes up, then we need to find WL Setup All, okay? Hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and then press the Delete key. The Shift key might be denoted as an arrow pointing upwards below the caps lock key. So hold that down, tap delete, okay, let go of the CTRL, uh, let go of the shift key, and then it will say, are you sure that you want to permanently delete this file? Move your mouse over, yes, left click once. Like I say, that is just the installation file. It's taking up space on our computer. We don't need it anymore. So let's just click on the cross just up there to close that down. And let's click on the cross just up there to close edge down. Okay, and then what we do is we click on the start button. So the start menu comes up. And if we type on our keyboard, movie space maker. Okay, hopefully after a few seconds under best match and just on the right there should appear Movie Maker. Doesn't matter where you click it, this one or this one, it really doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna click this one on the left here and then hopefully Windows Movie Maker will load. The first time you start it, it might take a little while. Again, just be patient with it. So what we get is the first time we run it is just this agreement that we need to accept. So move your mouse over accept just there. You can read this if you want to. Um, but if you decline it, you won't be able to use Windows Movie Maker. So I'm just going to accept that. So left click accept in the bottom right hand corner. And then it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Windows Essentials and the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, it's OK to move your mouse over yes and left click once. And there we go, Movie Maker has now loaded. So uh, it says here on mine, if you experience slow performance using Movie Maker, you might need to install a drive for your video card or update your current one. So I'm just gonna click don't show this message again, and I'm gonna click close there. You might not get this message on some systems, you might though. So there you go, that guide showed you how to install Movie Maker from Windows 7 into Windows 11 so that you can use it instead of the one that comes with the Photos app. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. If you think your friends, family or work colleagues might like this video, then don't forget to share it on your social media timelines. And if you wanna hear about all my latest videos, hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.